Okay, guys, game-changing upgrade from Trapman in the app, which is coming on the desktop soon. Um, if you have lessons with me, expect to be getting a lot of this. Start watching now. Okay, so mainly based on strokes gained, you should know what that is, but if you don't, here's a quick example. If I was on tour, a tour pro, eight foot away on the green, my expected number of shots to get the ball in the hole is 1.5, one and a half, it's 50-50. Sometimes I'll one putt it, half time I'll two putt it. So that's 1.5. If I do one putt it, that is half a shot better, I've gained a shot. If I two putt it, that is half a shot worse, I've lost half a shot. That's how it works, and that calculation's done um, has been done from anywhere on the golf course for every handicap now. We're looking at just Tour Pro handicap on this until it gets a further update, we hope. Um, so we've got three different versions. This is the systematic testing. And again, the huge advantage for this is I can set this up for each individual player based on their needs, their golf course even. We can put in the typical approaches you might have. We can give you um, which I'll do in a second, uh, your weaknesses and work on those. We can see if your strengths are still your strengths and it will highlight areas where you may think you're good um, or you think you're poor and it really understands where you should spend your time practicing. The biggest thing this is going to do for a lot of you is take the focus away where, when it's not needed from any sort of technical camera angle positions that you might be looking at when you're down um, either indoor or on the range um, using Trapman or using any other tech. If you're using this well, it's just going to make your practice so much better. Um, unbelievable bit of kit. So here's the systematic practice. We'll do a little bit of this. This is just a warm-up that's defaulted to Trackman settings. Uh, so it's a Trackman own practice. Again, we can make it specific to you. Um, and we'll show you how it works just with one shot here. So I've um, got 34 yards. The little circle around the hole is tour average. Um, and it will tell me after this shot my strokes gained. So that's to where it carries and I'm in the zone. So I gained, just carry, um, I gained 0.14 shots on a Tour Pro on that particular shot if it had finished there. So we can move on to something else. Okay, so in this section we've got ladder tests. Now this is one I've set up for some of the better players I work with. Um, the white um, dotted line, if you like, around the hole is Tour Pro average, zero strokes gained. And the orange circle is, I think, 0.2 or point, no, sorry, 0.1 worse. Okay. Now, this is for more elite players I might work with. So we're trying to do a ladder up to seven shots, which means if you miss the target, you go back down a step. Um, so, or you might go back down to the uh, beginning. We'll have a look. So, in the unlikely event, I'll do miss. So, first shot is 52 yards. It's a short game challenge. And um, again, you can do this with any length of shot. So, we could do um, approach shots to the green. It could be a ladder challenge from 150 to 200 with any criteria we want. This is a short game shot to the center of the green. Um, we can, as you'll see in a minute, change pin position, change the shape of green. So cool. And um, like I say, it's going to really focus your practice and you won't just be standing there smashing loads of golf balls, hopefully. So 50-yard shot. I'll warn you now, these are not my wedges, not my loft. So this is a bit of a guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know it's left. Okay, hugely long. We'll try that again. Not sure that was that far. We'll give it a go. If I was up the ladder, I would have gone back down. I'm just going to change it again so I don't just have to keep doing that shot. So it's neat. It to 52 yards this time. And we're just in the zone. So I've gone up one step, just in the zone. Right now, this is 69 yard shot. Give it a go. If it's not long, I think it's pretty good. Oh, it's left apparently. So I've missed that target, back down to step one. This is going to be painful and frustrating. Um, can't wait to test it out properly and can't wait to give it to you guys. So we go back to 55 yards. Oh, I'm gonna be here for hours, let's move on. Okay, so that ladder test is either gonna make you unbelievably good or make you give up golf, because that's gonna get frustrating for some. 
uh, some are going to love it and just practice even better. Um, I would maybe set a limit to how many shots it takes you to complete a ladder test, depending on how many ladder steps you have to do. Um, otherwise, it will just make you practice a little bit worse. So if you haven't done a 10-step ladder, depending on how hard it is in, let's say, 30 shots, 40 shots, whatever criteria you set, probably time to stop rather than staying there for a whole two hours. This is slightly different. This is a task orientated test. Um, I've set it to um, wedges. And as you saw from the last ladder test, my wedges can go a bit left. So some of these pin positions coming up are going to be uh, trouble left hand side in particular. Now to move up, I have as many shots as it takes me to move up. So unlike the ladder, I'll go back down. This is easier, you call it that, um, to uh, moving up. What it will do now, though, is rather than just say you're up or down, it will give me my strokes gained total so I can see um, which distances I'm missing out, where I'm good, uh, which pins I'm missing out as well. So I'll hit a few shots here and then we'll uh, talk you through some numbers at the end. Right, so you can see here it's chucking in some left pins, and that is a classic shocking miss for me. Just like shut club face gone left. Um, if you miss short sided, like that pin was, strokes gain, big loss. Okay, so if I am trying to hit this sensibly and not just go for that target, and um, although I won't move up a step, let's see if I can miss this one, which would be my target, like short to the right. So I'll probably aim that way a little bit, make sure I know what I'm trying to do with the club. And although that's not in the target zone, it's on the green, the long part. But even though I'm much further away than the last shot, I've lost half the amount of shots. So rather than losing almost a whole shot, 0.8, or going long left or short sided as well, that was miles away on the green, but at least it was on the green, didn't lose many shots. Okay, so not quite getting to the end of this test just because of uh, time or lack of ability. Um, but you can see where I'm missing shots here. So my weakest position down the bottom left-hand side here is where I've got a flag, which I know already, uh, short and left. So now what be my objective is to sort of work on, okay, why do I miss that? What's happening to the club when it's a shorter swing? Um, and I can start to work on that. So anything else, I come down, short right was fine. Everything else is a bit down to tour pro as expected. Um, but short left flags, absolute killer for me, which I knew already. And now I've just got to go and work on it, retest myself next time. So this breakdown here, unbelievably good for knowing not just the distances you miss at, um, but where the flag is when you do miss it. Unbelievable little bit of kit. Um, superb upgrade from Trackman. Like I say, guys expect me to pull in this uh, iPad out um, until it's on the desktop. In most of your lessons, there's going to be a lot more testing and a lot more deliberate practice. Um, a lot more focused practice as well, which you guys tend to need.